world, my name is Sarah Dietschy, Rhymes with Beachy. Welcome to an everyday carry video where we talk about my favorite knives, my favorite SSDs, um, this cool Pomodoro, Pomodoro, how do you, how you say it? This is not an everyday carry, but I wanted to throw it in this video because I'm obsessed with it. I got it on Amazon. That's pretty cool. You basically adjust the time by turning the wheel and it just counts down. And they call it a Pomodoro. Is that how you say it? Pa I should have uh, before this video. Pomodoro? Pomodoro. That proves to you that I'm not a productivity YouTuber. I had so many issues with setting a timer on my phone because every time I would be curious about the timer, I would, I would somehow end up on Twitter. I don't know why I started out this video shouting out a uh, cheap uh, Amazon timer. But hey guys, today we're talking about my everyday carry. That was intense, right? This big, huge purse that I carry around every day. Um, in New York, I used to lug around a big backpack, um, but now that I have a car, it is actually way easier to just like keep big stuff in my car and transport. When I come through the door every day, I am like miss have everything in my hands. It's a problem, but the one thing I always have this is so heavy. This is so incredibly heavy. Is this purse that I've had for like five years, I regretted buying it. It was one of those moments where I was in LA, I was in a rush, I needed a purse. I need a purse, okay? I ran into like Century City Mall, did not know that was an expensive mall. I chose the biggest purse there because I needed to fit in a 13 inch laptop. And I just go, okay, cool, get this. I go to check out and he was like $500. And he's like all posh in LA. And I was just like, okay. It was like one of those things where I didn't want to be like a loser and be like, oh, that's too expensive being in a posh LA mall. But now I realize that $500 for a purse isn't even that expensive. So we've now done two rants and you haven't even seen what's inside. So, hey guys, as you can tell, I haven't actually properly filmed a video in a while. It's nice to say hello to you again. And shout out to Crucial for sponsoring this video because the one thing I always have in my everyday carry, guys, is a awesome, epic, fast, SSD and the one that I actually carry around all the time is a part of their new family of these crucial SSDs So you've probably heard of crucial if you know about laptops if you know about computers um, Crucial a lot of the time is the memory is the storage inside of laptops or if you're upgrading your PC They have a lot of great NVMe as a tongue twister, NVMe SSDs, um, they do the guts of computers really well. Um, they have the dopest gaming memory, it's RGB, we love lights. As of 2019, they actually dove into external SSDs. So check out this guy. This is their new X6. Look how tiny this is. It's so cute and it has speeds up to 800 megabytes per second. That is so freaking quick, y'all. And prices of SSDs have just plummeted. So I'm telling you right now, there is no reason to go with a hard disk in 2022. Don't do it, don't do it. Those things are slow and they break so easily if you just do a little drop. And I drop all of the things. I drop the rhyme sometimes as well. Okay, and this is the other option. So remember, this is the X6. Um, super cute. I haven't seen an SSD this small. It comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable and it's super, uh, you know, short, super portable. So I keep it in my black hole. That is my purse, which we're going to get to. What did I say about durability? These SSDs are durable because we don't have a physical hard disk spinning you know, in the center of that. So that was me demoing how these are just indestructible, indestructible. I don't even know what that word is. Um, so as you can tell, it's just solid. I just love how these feel. So this is the X8, this is the X6. Um, and what's really cool about the X8 is it actually has transfer speeds up to 1,050 megabytes per second, but the X6, remember it gets up there up to 800 megabytes per second. Um, and what's really cool about this guy is it also comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And you know, these companies, when you upgrade your laptop storage directly from companies' websites, almost all the time you are paying a super big premium to have 
have that extra storage internally in your computers. And you know certain companies that I won't mention, uh, but it costs a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars to get four terabytes of internal storage. So you can cut that cost and have super fast SSD storage outside of your laptop, outside of your computer. So yeah, who knew I was actually so passionate about SSDs and storage, but guys, trust me, if you want to check out these SSDs, check out my link in the description below. I so trust a company like Crucial. They are part of the bigger brand Micron. That is one of the largest memory manufacturers in the world. They bring 40 plus years of quality experience and expertise to consumer products with these new external SSDs. So check them out, Crucial. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And let's get into all of these things. What's in there? You know, what? I'm going to use my Pomodoro timer here to see if we can finish this in 25 minutes. No pressure. You guys are going to, you know, See a little bit inside baseball, how many minutes are gonna pass in between cuts. <laughs> okay, guys, my favorite thing like ever. So I am obsessed with multi-tools, all of the things, but the thing with, with this is I always forget them in places. So usually I'll have a set of those at the office and my home, but the thing that I have with me at all times, because it is my priority, I gotta find it. Okay, here it is. This is like, I love this thing, it's so cute. So this is the Leatherman Micra. It's so tiny, it's so cute, and I end up almost unboxing like all of my packages with this guy just because it's something that's always on me. It's always in my purse and I always have it and I never put it anywhere other than my purse. So it has just like normal things, what you would have in a multi-tool. It's just a little mini leather man. Look at that. It's so cute. I love this so much. I'll put um, all the links in the description. Of course. <laughs> That's like how all these videos are. People just make these videos for affiliate marketing income, basically. <laughs> so a lot of the links in the description below are affiliate links. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm telling you, this is gonna be a fire everyday carry because these things have just provided so much value in my life. Okay, so this is what we call, what are these even called? I think they're called like gobo ties or bobo ties, not bobo ties bongo ties. I have no idea what they're called, but I use them every day. So they seem simple, right? Just like a rubber band with a little thing at the end. I don't care what industry you're in, they're, they're big in the filmmaking industry, but they will solve any problem that you ever have with cables, with attaching things to things. Um, so we had, we had a little issue over here. We're like, hey, this is, this is like super annoying how this is just hanging off. Well, guess what? A gobo, a bongo, a bogo, a bongo tie solves all problems, okay? Okay? Did you get what we did there? Okay, guys, I'm telling you this, this, what, can I do this to more things? Here's the thing, it's perfect for like C-stands and tripods, attaching things onto things. I think we have um, a lot over here, but just trust me, leaving these on your wrist, it'll just solve all issues. Just throw a ton of these in your camera bag. I love these, I would die, I would die for bongo ties clock it's ticking the clock is ticking this guy probably the most unrelatable item in my bag but I always bring around my Leica Q2 look at just how gorgeous this thing is um, and guys I'm telling you the pictures that it takes Mwah, just beautiful. Of course, it's pricey and it's fixed lens, so it's a 28 mil 1.7, so you got that beautiful bokeh at all times with a 1.7 lens. Um, you can also go macro, so shoot up super close, but the best thing about this is it's so small, so I actually do bring it with me. I actually do bring it in my purse in places that I go. Um, but get this, it has a full frame sensor, 42 megapixel sensor in the small form factor, so that's what makes it so powerful. I have shot some of my favorite like life moments on this camera. Um, they always say the best camera that you have is the camera that you have on you. But I am a big fan of bring real cameras to family functions when you're out and about because those pictures really do stand the test of time and go a long way compared to your phone. Even though those phone pictures are perfect in perfect light, um, you know, you don't always have that. So having a full frame sensor, having the megapixels to be able to crop in goes a long way for life moments. And that is why I bought this camera and it's probably my most used photo camera 
ever. Okay, I didn't want to do a lot of overlap with the last video. That video where I talked about my favorite MacBook accessories, you guys just ate that up. And so I had to bring over one thing in case you didn't watch that, but this really is in my purse at all times. It is my Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. So it's a couple generations behind, but it has a horizontal scroll, which I'm just obsessed with. Um, and I really love this mini small mice, mouse, mouse. Yeah, what, what can I say more? This is like my favorite portable mouse ever. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't. That's two drops already. That's two drops. Call me Sarah Tech Tips or something. Jeez. Okay, we just got to get the big guy out of here. Um, so this is my iPad, my 2020 11 inch iPad. I have a paper-like screen protector on the top. It makes it feel um, more like paper when you're renting. Oh, those are serious notes. Blur that out. <laughs> I just love writing handwritten notes in OneNote on the iPad. Um, and yeah, this is my iPad of choice. I didn't upgrade to the M1 iPads because, well, I don't do a lot of serious workflow, so I don't really need it. I know that's shocking, Sarah, you're a tech YouTuber and you didn't upgrade to the latest and greatest. Yeah, iPads have actually been great for multiple years and I think they're actually too powerful for their own good. You don't have to upgrade a lot. But I will say though, the Magic Keyboard was just way too heavy for me and I really enjoy an iPad for being an iPad. Um, so I like to keep the case on and be able to set it down and then type with a screen or write with a pen. Um, so this you know, normal smart folio case allows for that and then um, it still has a keyboard to type all the things, but of course you don't have a trackpad, um, but that's the only downfall. This is like light enough smudges on it, as you can see, and I don't know how to solve that. So um, maybe the solution is to just get a Logitech uh, folio case. That's probably the easiest and cheaper solution, but if you guys have any idea how to get smudges, uh, let me know. Not get smudges, I can get those all day. Get the smudges off. Oh wow, okay. This is very revealing because I didn't really like, I just showed up with the stuff I have in my bag. So we got random lens caps in here that I was probably really stressed out about a couple days when I couldn't find lens caps, but now I know they're in my purse. So Sarah, remember that? Find those guys a home. Uh, this is the SSD, not SSD, SSDs are on my mind. Check out my link in the description below. These crucial SSDs, man. SD cards, so we got SD cards in here. This is just a Pelican SD card case. I've had these forever. If you buy anything Pelican, they just like stay solid, right? And that's the goal. You can, you can drop these things, they're waterproof, right? Um, now that I'm looking at the sticker, this is my phone number from literally Nashville, which is hilarious. That was like six years ago. But yeah, I no longer separate the SD cards based on full or empty. I basically just put the SD cards that I still need to transfer over or check before I format. I put those upside down in the case, so um, that allows me to differentiate those. So I just carry one around, we keep one at the office. Tried and true, these guys. Okay, my wallet. This is like, I guess, the main event of like a purse and things, right? I'm noticing that a lot of the stuff I own is black and we're filming against a black desk. Basically, normal wallet. So we got the credit cards and then we have a bigger slot where I can just keep stamps apparently because I'm 80 years old. <laughs> Okay, uh, why I really like this wallet is because when I'm on the go and I don't wanna carry this big old purse that I got to fit 13 inch laptops in, um, I can just throw my phone in the back and I can just go on my merry way and go get my green juice or whatever I do, right? Um, the only downfall with this is I am Sarah and I drop things a lot of the times and sometimes I turn the wallet upside down and I have dropped Vine phone many times. So I try to pay attention to that. So that is my wallet of choice. We have all of the AirPods in here. Oh, we are getting into the depths of the purse where I'm talking straws <laughs> and, <laughs> and random loose air tags. I think this is set up though. I think this is the purse air tag. Um, so yeah, we got all, I, I'm telling you, I lose my AirPods all of the time and most of the time they're just in the depths of my purse. So we got the peachy AirPod cases here. Um, we got normal AirPods. Those are probably my favorite, like AirPod Gen 2. Um, and then we have the AirPod 3s. Not the biggest fan, they don't fit in my ear the best. Got that Stay Peachy hit. Ooh, that looks so good. Wonder who made these. Okay. 
something to know about me. You could probably attest to this. When I'm not like doing things, I'm just putting Carmex on my lips. At this point, it's kind of like, it's probably like a tick, but my lips have to be moisturized at all times. Um, and it's a bit concerning how many Carmexes I have in my purse because the other amount of time of me living is me trying to find my Carmexes. So that doesn't make sense that I have so many in here. Um, but I have, you know what? I bet you, yeah, I also have one in my pocket. So that's four Carmexes. We'll see if any other ones pop up. Oh my God. Oh man, this is retro. I love pins like this that have all four colors, but we got a beam pin. Rest in peace. We got some loose uh, earphones, mic jack, because it's important to have microphone jacks and laptops looking to you, Del. Okay, first of all, why do I have three of these in here? But these are my all time favorite pins. Fight me. The precise, precise V5. I love these pins, the pilot pins. Why do I have three of them? Okay, okay. Ooh, this is one of my favorite multi-tools ever. I always, so I have bought so many of these. I have them at my apartment. I have them here at the office um, and I have them at all times in my purse, okay? It's just a small rig multi-tool um, and it has a lot of hexes, okay? Important for all of the things. And then this guy, this guy right here, I love it so much. This is the reason why I don't have to search around for coins when I'm unscrewing tripod plates. This guy, I don't know. I just use it for tripod plates. I use it every day. I use it multiple times a day. And then there's like a Phillips head and, and other things and it just collapses down. Man, I love this thing so much. Honestly, I don't know why I haven't made this video earlier because I'm actually learning that I'm actually kind of passionate about these little tools. I love, I love these things. Um, and then because Jeannie knows I love these things, that is my mom, um, this is actually a stocking stuffer. Gotta love it. So we got, what are those things called? Pliers at the end? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, this is, this is that Swiss tech. And then, and then this guy's pretty cool because it actually has a flashlight at the other end. Here we go. Ooh, nice. I am JJ Abrams. <laughs> this one's a new guy. I don't know if he's gonna hang around. Um, so he has to impress me. These, these are everyday carry, baby. Oh, this is sad. Okay, guys. So we have, this is our Carmex number five, um, but I lost the top for it. So there's like a crumpled up little piece of foil over it. That's disgusting, Sarah. Let's put that away. That's just, that's kind of peak Sarah right there. This is just like a fidgety thing. It's very satisfying. When I'm working and I can't play Xbox, this is just me remembering uh, what it would feel like if I was playing Halo, owning the noobs. Someone is like a, a bajillionaire because they make these plastic toys somewhere. We have a RX Zero battery. I haven't used that camera in like years, which is hilarious. Um, another air tag, probably the same air tag. Gum wrapper, hair tie, very important. My hair is in a bun, like 24 seven. A Samsung USB-C fast charger. And then, you know what? I don't even know the brand of this bag. We should probably, I mean, I have 80% male audience, but this is a Kara bag. And I will say, I have had this for over five years now. And even though it was kind of like, oh, stabbed to the heart to um, pay $500 for a bag, this thing has held up. And have I ever, have I even kept a camera for five years? Um, this thing has held up and I also love that it has just a super quick accessible magnetic pouch on the outside. That's where I throw my keys in. So we got a mask. We have another AirPod, AirPod Pros. It's getting kind of ridiculous now. Um, oh, also on my keys, this is one of my favorite things ever that Rode came out with. Um, so it's basically a carabiner with um, little quarter inch thread adapters at the end. So if you do anything audio, I would highly recommend to get this, especially if you're like an actual proper audio person. Um, I don't use them a lot, so I should probably put them on my camera bag instead of my keys, but I, f oh man. I feel like I need these adapters at the most random time, so I actually just keep it on my keys. This, ooh, this, this. This is something that you can throw in a Joby Gorilla Pod, actually, if you need to um, put a certain head on it. So um, I just love stuff like that. I, I love it so much. Got all the keys, 
Um, I should probably have an air tag on it, but I have air tags in my wallet and in my purse for some reason, not on my keys. This is probably my most important key feature. It says blah, 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 pizza, blah, 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 pizza. Very important. And I actually had pizza last night, so it's actually very fitting. I had some pepperoni pizza. My family can vouch for that. It was my first time that I saw them in my two weeks of having the cold. It was very pleasant. Look at this, look at this, look how beautiful. Look at the spread. Oh my gosh, and then look at that Pomodoro timer. Look at that, we did it, we did it. I just sat here and talked like it's my job or something. Um, so guys, let me know what you think. Are you as obsessed with multi-tools as I am? How do you feel about this little mini Leatherman? I love it so much, I love it. All of the things, um, shout out to Crucial for sponsoring this video, guys. Check out their new X8 and X6 SSDs. What are you doing with your life? You gotta get one, you gotta get one right now. Check out my link in the description below um, for all of the links, for all of the things. And we're just gonna sit here as we um, watch this timer go out. <clears throat> just kidding, I think I can, yeah. I'll, I'll show you how it basically starts over at the end. So five, four, three, two, one. And then I'm like, yeah, I did 25 minutes of work. And I stand up and I scroll on Twitter and I say, all right, let's go for 25 more minutes. You press that and then it restarts um, to the time that you set up. So I, I turned it to only five seconds at the end. So it's only going to be a five seconds. Let's change that. So. Pomodoro. I don't know how it intelligently just switches to minutes and seconds like it just did, but it just knows, it just knows. So 25 minutes, we're gonna start. And yeah, it's helped me be so productive, but it's only worked for like the past week. So I know I'm gonna have to try some other strategy to keep me going because I'm a mess. And so you should subscribe. And let me know if you like this video. And I'm feeling better. Thank you for the well wishes. I intentionally mentioned that I was sick at the end when I felt some momentum. Um, because when you're down, you don't want to be reminded that you're down. So guys, I'm good. Like, sub, and stay peachy. Okay, bye. Also, I have another video that I just released about hanging out with Cody from Dude Perfect. You should check that out, because it's good.